All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the form that is going to allow us to update the default role, the muted role, etc. I'm sure you guys have seen stuff like that before, where either on Ataj or Mi6, you can update certain roles or channels for certain configurations. So I'll get started with that. And I think everything else going forward is just going to be the same concept, the same rules. You literally just set up a form that someone can uh, interact with. And when they click on the button, it's going to make an HTTP request to the backend and it's going to update some kind of data. So let's go ahead and go into our dashboard and we're going to go inside dashboard menu slash index.jsx. And what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this inside a div. Okay, we're going to create another formic component. So we're going to do this formic and we're going to set up our form. So this is actually going to be a select. It's going to look something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up initial values first, and then we're also going to set up the on submit, which is going to basically invoke a function whenever we click on the button. So for initial values, we're going to have the name or the field of our select. We're just going to name it role selected. Now right now we're setting it as an empty string, but later on when we're fetching the guild configuration, well actually we, already, we are already fetching the guild configuration. We're actually going to need to set this role selected to whatever config uh, dot uh, role selected is. So it's console log values. All right, so we're done with that part. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do the same thing that we're doing up here, where we're going to specify a pair of clear braces. We're gonna pass in the props and we're going to basically just render a regular HTML form element. So pretty much the formic API, this whole component wraps around the form itself. And it basically, the props provide us functions that we can call to handle uh, updating the state of the form. So for example, whenever the user submits the form, we can call props.handle submits, just like that, okay? But let's go ahead and set up our select. So we're gonna import that from up there. And we're going to give the name. So this is the field name. So role selected. Or actually, I'll call this default role instead. And this could relatively be anything. This could be uh, the role that the user receives once they uh, react with, the role that they receive once they join the server or verify themselves, etc. And we'll just do some hard-coded options for now. So let's just do role A because we don't have any data right now. We're going to have to fetch that later. Get okay, role B and then role C. Okay, so watch this. Let's go over here. Oh, we need a submit button. But if I look over here, we have all of our rules. So let's create a button. And let's give it a color of orange. Type will be a submit button. And then the text inside will be update rule. Okay, there we go. All right, so if I open up the console and if I select, you're gonna notice that the value actually does not update, but you can see this is the initial value, okay? The reason why we can't leave this empty is because if we were to click on this, or let me refresh actually, you're gonna see that uh, it just says default role A, okay? So if we leave it empty, it's going to try to make an empty uh, update if someone were to click on it. But of course you can disable it only once they have changed the value here. Okay, anyways, so in order for the default role, so you can see whenever I click update role, this is not changing. In order for that to work, we need to listen to the on change event. So we're gonna pass in the prop. So on change equals curly braces, props, handle change. So every single time a change has happened inside the select dropdown, it's going to call that a uh, Props not handle change function, which is from the Formic API. Okay, so now if I change this, it's going to update it. Update, update. Okay, cool. All right, so that's a uh, that's pretty awesome, and I think that itself should be fine for our form. The only thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to call a function. So we'll probably do the same thing where when we were updating the prefix, we called the update prefix function, which is a uh, parent function. It's coming from the menu page, I think, or not menu page, dashboard page, sorry. So we'll probably uh, do the same thing. So let me do this. So we'll go inside dashboard page. We'll do updates 
default role parent and we'll take in the role ID because that's what we're going to be passing in the role ID. Okay. So we'll console log it for now. And we're going to have to pass that as a prop. So let me just fix this up a little bit. Okay. So let's just do update role, update default role parent. So now we're going to go back into the dashboard menu. Remember, we're passing it as a prop. So, and since we're destructuring the props object, we can just pass it in like that. Okay. And I think that should be fine. So now we're going to invoke update role and we'll just pass in values just to show you that it's actually calling the function. See index 41 or index.jsx line 41. You can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's coming from dashboard page, which is the parent component. So we know for a fact it's calling this function. Okay, so we have a couple of minutes left. So what I'll do is I'll set up the API route in the front end, but we're not gonna set it up on the back end though. I'm just gonna set up the route to call. We haven't implemented it yet, so if you don't watch the next episode, you're, it's not gonna work. Or you can, you know, if you're eager enough, you can uh, implement it yourself. So export function, update role, or I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna call this update default role so we're gonna need the guild id as well as the role id and this is going to be axios dot put okay and then we're gonna do localhost port 3000 api discord and then we'll do guilds guild id and i think roles or not rules default role should be fine i think that should be okay or i can do rules slash default because there's a bunch of different roles that we can update. We can update the muted role. We can update the default role. So we can have routes like roles, muted, etc. So yeah, I think roles slash default will be fine. Um, and in terms of the payload, we're going to need to pass in the role ID. So we'll just do that. And we're also going to pass in with credentials. And I think that should be okay. So there's only... Uh, the only way to test this out is by actually having the endpoint working, but this should be fine. So before uh, we end this video, I shall import this function over here. And let's just pass in null and null just to make sure that the endpoint is actually being called. Yep, you can see put uh, request to uh, the endpoint failed. Okay, that's okay because we haven't actually implemented the route yet, but we'll do that in the next video. And then in, in the video after that, I'll show you guys how to connect everything together. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So in the next video, we'll set up the route. And in the video after that, we will connect everything together. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.